the approval by city council of a billion and a half dollar project called District Detroit boiled down to three words. Detroit based businesses. And this billion and a half dollar project doesn't define Detroit based businesses, but the intent is to provide benefits, jobs and housing to black and brown Detroiters. But you can't say that. And it's not to the advantage of the city of Detroit to continue to fight this particular battle. District Detroit, the development near Little Caesars Arena, has been developed by the Illich family and others. The project will renovate or construct new properties, 700 residential units, commercial buildings, and two hotels. Some don't like it, though. To contribute to the housing trust fund and the minority business development, it is critical that we do that. But most like and approved District Detroit. But I also understand the risk on a legislative level of why you cannot define that because it creates a sense of bias, particularly as even the NAC has uh, expressed their intent of what that means, talking about black or brown. The state constitution explicitly prohibits an, uh, an agreement based upon race. But what had dominated multiple hours of council and public discussions has been what they call a community benefits agreement, an agreement that spells out how much of the building and jobs will be obtained by Detroiters. This is too big of a project. It's going to help too many people. It's going to put too many people to work. The Illich Group wants about $800 million in tax incentives. Most of the monies will be captured because of where these buildings will be constructed in Detroit's DDA. And in the end, the vote was a Eight to one, only Council President Mary Sheffield voted against it. I just want to say from my perspective, I appreciate this, but one thing that I, I, I know since I've been here is that resolutions are not binding. Some changes were made to the agreement. Construction could start as early as July. In Detroit, Charlie Langton, Fox 2 News.